Hello, and welcome back to Tyranny. We just betrayed this oh. favorite, and I must admit, I do not mind that at all, since that was our plan all along. But now, we must be careful. We must find the artifact, the Ashwald. I think this is the only new place we can go to. Yes, I can also check our journal to see what we need to do. But I think we'll manage. Freedbinder, you walk the blade's edge and every eye watches. The tears verge on anarchy. Tread with care. Tune on the edge of the cave Archon of Justice. Oh yeah, because I called <laughs> Ash incompetent. Mm. Have a look. Hmm. Look here. Wait, wait, wait. Um. Stone down. No, we have not learned that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. In the stone sea, everything uh, has night and high ground in half gate. Oh, right, we were supposed to go to half gate. What were we supposed to do here then? Wait, we are at the ash road. Never mind. Let's go back to the half gate, apparently. There's supposed to be Hagrin. Yes, we did kill Scarlet Course. Thank you for uh, acknowledging it now. What would I do without you? Hmm? There you are. Always a pleasure to see you, Fate Binder. What can I do for you? Blade and Mark sends his regards. I'm looking for the Azure Shield. The man stand with their cheeks scrunched into a deeply lined scowl. He crosses his arms over his chest. Who? Oh, Blade and Mark also wanted me to tell you. This is your chance to see your wife again. I see. He blinks away a stab of fear. One second the emotion is visibly there, the next it's gone. I had no idea you were also in his service. In any case, the beastmen of Stone Down, the Stormstalker's tribe, have the artifact. Their Prima Hundred Blood keeps it well guarded. What use would the beastmen have for an Azure relic? It's a matter of pride, Fatebinder. To them, the Stone Sea is theirs, and if a shiny shield of iron is found, well, that's theirs, too. It's true, but I'm wrong. The beast woman flicks a claw, looking bored and sorrow. All elf in Azure lands belongs to beast women, but stone stalkers do not want useless trinkets for trading or gazing upon the pining, slathering humans. For a hundred blood to claim prize would mean beast women to shield from life and limbs of faff, worthy foe. Is proof of pride for Primart tribe. She regards the beast woman with momentarily interest, considering her insightful explanation. But ultimately, he sniffs and shrugs, paying it no mind. How should I go about acquiring the artifact from Hundred Blood? Spilling her blood would be the most direct solution, of course. No easy task there. He taps his finger against his lips. 
It also may be possible to arrange for a trade. But who knows what a beastman could possibly want? We want to beat hundred blood. Want to eat liver from the traps, Prima. Prove shadow hunters are stronger, better predators. That do not have to kill to be best. Can live living or can help beast women protect tribe. Both are good choices for survival of all beast women. Yep. So what's going on with your wife? This time it's both shock and rage that flashes over his face before he manages to cool his expression. Boy slow, he sees. What the fuck do you think, Fatebinder? Look, even if you mean well, the best way to help me with it is just to get your information and move on. Do what the Archon of Shadows wants, and me and Elaine will be just fine. That's all I need to know. Good luck with your search, Fatebinder. Ah, okay, we won't push it then. We finally learn how to get to Stone Down. Thank you. Hmm? Who was? Come on, hurry up now. Is it all now? Yeah. On it. Come on, guys. Stone down gorge. Just to warn you, I won't be doing the beast woman voice each time. Not to break my vocal cords. I think he was doing fairly well. The two of you go kill it. I must have been Scar, of course, is so weak now. Compared to the Wraiths, they are extremely weak. Eruptions of crystal like this one appeared in the Stone Sea shortly after Karsis Edict Sorry, I can't. Uh, tore the lands asunder. It isn't known if they are a byproduct uh, of the Overlord's magic or the result of Cairn's experiments during Will the do. war. We can take a piece. This crystal fragment glows brighter than its nearby brethren. The fragment is firmly embedded in the ground. We took it. This crystal fragment was gathered from the snow sea. It is capable of holding a large amount of magical energy. Hmm, just what are you exactly? Quest item. Okay. Interesting. Wait, uh, do you have... Yeah, you have everything that's purple. You even have one masterwork quality. Uh, this is a staff. No, it's a blade, goddammit. Sometimes I get confused as to what I'm looking at. What in Kairos' name are you plotting, boss? Would you kill those choir men up ahead? He points it up at you, face the flash scarlet. Don't try to deny it, my girl. Pustule, so do. Run. Run while you still have legs to carry you. Free in peace, it's the rogue fate binder. 
The yelp Octave fumbles to draw his blade, tripping to backwards over a loose stone. Furious! At arms! At arms! Shit! Damn! Help! Even if we have to take you out one at a time, I won't rest until the tears are cleansed of your scarlet scum. No, oh, I didn't expect that from you. This is one spur. Ooh, this one's our ability. Great. Let me focus on this one. But, oh, okay. Maybe it's because of all the buffs that we have. That is so easy. Let me see. Scarf cores. Plus 30 defense against bleeding and burning attacks. I like that one. I really do. Nope. What was that? This, this favored mission report dates back to 430 TR. One entry stands out from the meticulously organized hall. It describes an evening patrol where the soldiers spotted a crimson spear meeting with a stalwart captain. Whoever wrote the log must have intended on reporting it to their superior officer, but fell in battle before they had the chance. Hmm. Don't get me wrong, I know they are both plotting... get the best out of this war. These plans outline the specifics of making the dagger zeal. This item can be created with access to a spire forge upgrade and proper materials. Okay. Mm, oh, there we can get more of the Azurelif. But first we must fight for it, of course. Um, no, I don't think I there's I believe you can jump over there Damn it. Okay, she is using her ability, so there's no need to worry about that. I can barely get the hang on of my own abilities. Buildings like this one numbered in the thousands of Azur's great cities. Those that weren't swallowed by the earth have been left behind in ghost towns, haunting reminders of a more glorious past. Maybe you'll be interested in what I'm about to say, maybe not, but just so you know, yes. but I take an interest in the oh, uh, Pillars of Eternity as well. So far I've only Can't read about the character creation, but that's something. Accessible waterfalls like this one are rare in the Stone Sea and are a valuable resource. The water that flows into the depths below forms one of the major nether streams that sustain the region's scattered populations. Mm, another... this. Day 36. My journey to the Dawning Spire at Howling Rock continues. 
Unfortunately, the route indicated on the map I acquired leads straight through a den of beasts. Surely I can find a way around them. They are the last obstacle between myself and the spire. Also, I can allow nothing to deter me. Okay, we found the same entry twice. Maybe I am too meticulous in looking for everything. Mm. Have a look here. Good job. That nearly killed me. A portion of an unknown sigil has been has been recorded on the scroll. The charcoal imprint is roughly incomplete, leaving the full design a mystery for oh, now. The parchment contains a partial charcoal rubbing of a rune, though the shape is incomplete. The curved lines are unusual and don't resemble any known sigils. It will be necessary to obtain the complete shape before we can discern its purpose. This structure was destroyed by the earthquakes and later picked apart by scavengers. How in the hell are we supposed to get over here? Oh, okay. Come on. I think we can go da down this collapsed building. Okay, now we need to get over. Yep. I'll also look around for more stuff to pick up. You might want to look at this. Yep, 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 yep. yep. I don't want to die to a trap. Now, do I? As you approach, a massive, scarred beast woman turns her sharp, cold eyes to you. She studies you, a calculated killer. Stay no closer, human, she warns. Her gaze turns curious and she sniffs the air, slowly, experimentally, then faster and faster, excited and eager. Curious, she purrs. Human smells strongly of Kef. Smells like North Tribe. The guard nods her head once, sharply, decision made. Come, enter, but do not seek to cause strife. Bring a hundred blood or want to speak with strange men and human. Thank you. Luckily, we are on good terms with beast folks. The recessed space appears to be a nesting area where beast men and young are often confined for safety. It has most recently been used to hold captured outsiders. Oh, no, I don't want to jump over here. No, huh. looks to me. Wait, I don't see what you noticed. Blunt claws will not enter Allen Rock. No to Harris. No to humans. Okay. Something Can't down do here, I believe. Oh, here. Found something. The leader of the Stonestalker tribe furrows her brow at your approach, arrow, and her eyes tracking your every step. Who approaches hundred blood, strong as in all stone lands, first for prowler, based on who reaches without bounds, mystic and prima to Stonestalker tribe. She sniffs deeply, nostrils flared as she passes your scent. Mm, human smells like will of alpha, like snarling over fresh kill. Unusual, but still unwelcome. Why has strange strong thinking human crept into tribes then? The surly mountain of a beast snaps her focus to kills and shadow. 
It's things like Shadow behind you, but her stones took a tribe. Why, Shadow? Does be stone and save her here must put your smell? For her part, kills in Shadow only snorts. She neither shrinks from the Prima's predatory gaze or puffs her neck hackles. No, stone, stones like a Prima. She glances at you sideways, assessing. Beast woman does not belong to the rat with human. Beast woman stalks fate by for survival, because fate by is strong. She grins, but the gesture looks dangerous rather than appeasing. Stronger than hundred blood. Danger shadow. A long, gro low growl rumbles from between hundred blood's bare teeth, like the sleep of a mountain rock slide. Provoke Prima again and suffer hundred strikes. Bleed hundred times. Brain of hundred blood. Prima of great stone stalkers. Every human or beast one will grow bold and chase like bleeding prey. I rescued a stone stalker known as Left Claw. He mentioned I should speak with you. Left Claw claims him and who smiles of gift saved stone stalker from death's jaws. The beast woman studies you with an intense and almost carnal interest. How should we know you are human? Because Great Painter is good, I have the keys in shadow. Looks out for beast women, for gift to survive. Fate Binder has helped Tribe, so Tribe will favor Fate Binder. I'm looking for the Azure Shield, and was told you know where it is. Tribe has shield, yes. It's proof of hundred plus prowess. Good trade, shield to human. <laughs> she scratches the side of her head with the one long curved claw. But why should Beast Woman want to? What do you want in exchange for the shield? This favorite predator, hundreds and enslavers of all Beast Women tribes, have slunk and barrowed into rocks at Jack Moore. In short seasons, we'll be scratching our tribes then. We'll be fed to cups and elders. She crooks two wickedly dark, carved claws at you, in both accusation and violent demand. Prima will trade shield to human, if human agrees to hunt them for their iron cuts in peace to lands. Very well. I will slay those soldiers for you. These two can already taste iron cuts blood on claws. She throws her head back and unleashes a wild howl. Don't slaughter them to kill. Go to human. Kill this favorite for tribe. Then can sing the spire shining golf glow and beg red wine for shield. Hmm. We've done that already. So, as I understand, we can go past you now. So, like I said, if it wasn't due to the bug, we would either way break our allegiance with this favorite. Oh, we cannot go past here. So we must go all the way up here, it seems. Do we? Uh, word about this here. Downing Spire and Aurora Spire both are unlocked. That's great. Why is there still this trap this arm text here? Please. I don't mind the bugs. Just let me finish this journey. It. Here it is. But first, I want to visit the Doing Spire actually. We cannot. Okay. This. 
An abrupt storm drives you into the shelter of a public house built under a colossal stone overhang. Travelers from across the tedious share the space with you, warily eyeing one another in your silence until the thin stew and thinner our ale loosens the lips of the gathered. A wiry woman with midnight skin sits a large gourd on a stone near the back of the cave. She challenges you to a game of daggers, in which players compete to throw identical knives at the target. The person who hits nearest center in three tries wins. The purse, she states, will be twenty copper rings. Only that much. Cheat. You stand and approach the woman, setting down your own twine bound rings in challenge. The woman grins, turns and hurls her first knife, beginning the game. She seems quite confident with her blade, so when a dropped clay mug briefly steals her attention, you slip one of the daggers you threw from its position, sliding it into the guard significantly closer to center. Your deft hands draw no attention to your deceit. After the round, the woman offers you a few rings and offers to buy your next drink. Oh, we'll have to kill you. Won't we? Oh, no, if I might have done my duty, you can be dragged back there. Who are you? And why do you think I would drag you somewhere? He falters mid-step, stumbling on a smothering of loose stones. You're an officer of the court, aren't you? Look, I know... I'm breaking my work order with the Earthshakers, but it's not like we made it through a real legal contract or nothing. I, I swear, it was just a handshake. You've got to believe me. Please, it's not safe here. I, I, it's the beastmen that they've gone feral. They are trying to slaughter me along with those damn Earthshakers. I don't want to die. You, you, you've got to let me flee. Seeing as, you, as how you've pissed yourself, Fine, but I want full details before you go. Uh, after the sea split, I, 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 I thought I'd make a living by mapping the land. Uh, I know the area well enough now, so, so the air shakers hired me to guide them. They were looking for some kind of a pr pr precious stone. But the stone shakers seem to have other plans. When we got further in, they were already there, guarding the shards. One of the bits nipped at the earth shaker, so I fled. <laughs> I've done my job, the fate binder. Getting ripped to shreds isn't part of it. Fate binder. The earth shaker pounds his chest once in a salute. He casts a sideways glance to Lycon before speaking. Ignore this coward, and allow me to enlighten you on our situation. I assume you've come to aid us. Well, you don't need me with a fate binder here. You do want to go at it with the beastman. It's your funeral. I'm, I'm out of here. Okay, but before we speak to you, I'll end this part here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.